Hey, what's up team? How are we doing? So I want to give you, an, uh, uh, not an analogy, but uh, a real case scenario. So think of when you, you, you go on vacation, when you're a little kid. When I was a little kid and we'd go on vacation, I had this like tiny flowered suitcase and I didn't know it. My, you know, my parents would pack it for me. So they would put in the suitcase what they think that I would need. And I'd probably carry this little suitcase around. I'd probably throw some stuff that I wanted to bring anyway, but they would, they would pack it up. For me. Then as I got older and started to go on my own travels and my own vacations, then I would start, I would pack my own suitcase. Well, there was a few things that I would pack in my own suitcase that I just didn't really want or need to bring on that particular journey, but I did it because I was kind of conditioned because my parents used to pack my suitcase. So I would just pack the stuff that they thought was important at the time, and it probably very was important at the time, and then I would go and then inadvertently pack those things as well. So we are on our journey with 2020, and on that journey, we all get to pack our own suitcases, okay? So here's my travel suitcase that I have, and Here's the thing is we want to decide what we are going to put in that suitcase. Are we bringing some things on 2020 that we don't need? Maybe some thoughts, some ideas that were given to us that were put in our suitcase as a child and we just don't need them anymore, but we're, we're, we're still carrying the brunt of that load on. Or are we not putting some things in our suitcase that we should be putting in our suitcase as we journey into 2020? So for me... In 2019, I had a gratitude jar, and I hadn't read a lot of these things, and I read them last night, and I'm like, wow, there's a lot of things in this jar that I want to bring with me on into 2020. I'll just read a couple arbitrary ones. Matthew, very, very good friend. That's a friendship that, I want, that I'm grateful for in 2019 that I want to continue to foster in uh, 2020, okay? So that's going to go be packed in my suitcase. That's something I'm empowered, and I want to decide to continue a relationship, Okay. Uh, let's see another one. Um, the hard times that built my belief. So that's the, the hard times. I don't want to avoid certain pains in 2020. So I'm going to bring that, something that I'm grateful for, because it makes me better. So I'll read one more arbitrary one. So something else that I want to bring into 2020 is this past weekend at Can... Oh. Life Vantage Kansas City event. Okay, so this was a, a seminar that we went to in Kansas City where I was enlightened. So education, that's gonna be something that I wanna bring on into 2020, okay? But there's some things that I don't wanna bring into 2020. I don't wanna bring in some of my self-domestications and some of my attachments or some of the lack of love for myself. Or when you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, I'm so disgusted, or, or some of those negative thoughts, those aren't gonna go in my suitcase. And then what's cool is it's a journey moving forward, you're never gonna go back. So when you decide to not put it in your 2020 suitcase, you just go on without it. It is literally just that simple. So moving into 2020, take a look at your suitcase and take a really hard look and be like, hey, is there some things in this suitcase that other people packed in there because they thought I should take these with me into 2020? Or do I really want these thoughts, these ideas, these items? Maybe you're chasing some things that people put into your suitcase because they think that you need to chase these things. You know, you, you, they think you need to chase that promotion. They think you need to chase ripped abs. They think you need to chase some overall victory at, at, you know, in an event. You know, but those are their thoughts. Maybe those are some things that need to stay in 2019 and you need to pack some other things that you personally want to take and foster into 2020. So just make sure that your 2020 luggage is your luggage and it's got your ideas in it. It's got your dreams and aspirations in it and it has your ambitions in it, not somebody else's as you go in and foster 2020. So uh, that might be another thing you might wanna do for, uh, for a week is do your own gratitude jar. Just every day, you know, uh, wake up. I didn't do it every day, but for one week, wake up and be like, hey, I'm really grateful for this. Things that you're really, really grateful for. And then after a week, you'll have seven days. Those are going to be the things you want in your suitcase. Those are, that's going to tell you where you should invest your time, money, and energy in. 
okay? To things that you are grateful for. They, that will be your guide, and that will be your guide as far as, okay, yeah, I wanna bring these into 2020, and then things that don't make your gratitude jar, maybe those stay in that little suitcase that we all had as a kid. You know, maybe we don't bring those things on into uh, to 2020. You guys have an amazing, blessed rest of your day. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I generally do these daily walks on our Macro Millionaire page. So if you, uh, if you like these daily walks, you like some of the topics, some of the topics challenge you, get you to think a little bit, check out our Macro Millionaire Facebook page. I try to do these daily walks several times a week, um, and I'm always walking when I do them. So, <laughs> all right, you guys have a great day.